What's going on guys? So third part of, well second part actually, of the engine build bolt-on really. It's not even an engine build. But uh, my exhaust manifold from STM comes in tomorrow. So what I'm gonna do right now today is I'm gonna remove the OEM manifold. So I'm gonna try to record and show you guys how to remove your OEM manifold. Um, basically prep everything so tomorrow when it comes in uh, what I'm gonna do is just basically bolt it right up uh, I got new gaskets and everything so I'll try to show you guys everything uh, with that and that's about it so once I get the manifold and I do install it tomorrow I am going to be tuning Friday and Saturday Friday I get I get my base map from my tuner uh, so I'll get the base map install it in the, in the car uh, turn it on. It's just to fire up the car and make sure that everything's good vacuum wise and everything and then Saturday I'm actually gonna tune the car so I have to do all of this pretty quick um, But I mean everything's basically done. So let's get to it Alrighty, so uh, I already removed the cover. I don't think I gotta show you guys how to remove a cover This is just four bolts one two three and then four in the front Oh, let me set this to the side now for the actual manifold, I removed that cover like two days ago. I uh, basically put WD-40 or penetrating oil like two days ago. So this could be a little bit easier. Um, these bolts are basically rusted from, I don't know, 2005 probably. So went ahead and sprayed it for two straight nights just to make sure that it's easy to remove. Um, for the manifold, the stock manifold, what you need to remove to be, what you need, the bolts that you need to remove to be able to get this out is four on the top and there's five on the bottom. So there's one here, one in this gap, another one, one in this gap, and this one. And then you have the four that are connected to the turbo, which is these two. And then you have another two, which is this one and this one. So let me go ahead and uh, try to crack those up um, and get those loose and remove them out of the manifold. Alrighty, so I already removed the four uh, bolts and studs, well not studs, nut and bolt from the turbo. This was pretty easy. It's like I said, these four right here and I already cracked these, all of them cracked pretty simple. So putting the penetrating oil or WD-40, whatever you want to call it, really did work because you know, they were really rusty as you could see. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all of these and then see if I have enough play to remove this or if I have to remove the down, down pipe, I'll check right now and we'll figure it out. All right, so before I go ahead and remove the nuts from the studs in the cylinder head, I'm gonna have G-Speed. Stop. Um, what the? Isn't it this? Fuck. Is that? Anyways. Isn't I'm it? I'm gonna have G-Speed kind of mock up the bolts so that way when I install the the new exhaust manifold, we actually use the same bolts in the same place. I don't know if you really do have to do that. It's just my anal, my OCD, just trying to make sure that everything's good, everything's perfect, and you know, try to remove as many variables as you can. So I'm gonna reuse, basically, I'm gonna locate the bolts here. And do I have to do these? Yeah, you have to do, no, not these. You have to do one, two, three, four, and then five in the bottom. So the, what? I, I thought you meant only to do these four. Anyways, so we'll do these four and then we'll do five in the bottom. Just do what, five circles. One here, one here, one here, one here, and one here. And we'll put them like that. We'll keep them like that till the new exhaust manifold comes in and we should be good for the install. Let me go ahead and again, remove these nuts. Alrighty, so all the bolts and nuts have been removed. They're already here labeled. I need to really clean them out and everything so it could look, you know, brand new. Uh, so everything's removed, but now I realize something and I think I'm gonna have to remove my radiator because look at how close you can see that some fins are bent in the radiator and there's a brand new radiator so I don't want to mess it up. Look at how close it sits to the turbo and I need to move this back a little bit, just a little bit. So I'm gonna like probably, uh, I think it's bolted to the frame, like one of the, like a hanger. So for me to remove it a little bit back, I'm gonna have to move the radiator. Like that is way too close. I'm gonna mess up the fence and mess up my radiator. So I'm gonna have to drain the radiator, remove the hoses, and unfortunately, 
remove the whole radiator out which sucks but I'll do that really quick and then get this manifold out of the way as you can see it's out um, I removed the exhaust manifold and this was honestly a little bit harder than I thought not so hard but as you can see I don't have my radiator on so I had to remove my radiator down pipe and everything and what I thought this you know the easy solution was was to remove these two studs and basically you're gonna be able to pull the manifold out and not have to touch anything at all but with the radiator it's very hard to fit two nuts together and try to extract that stud so I still tried it it didn't work that stud was just there I heated it up with a propane tank nothing at all just stayed there so now that it's completely now that the manifold's off it's super easy to remove the stud so i you could try to remove the stud if you don't want to touch the radiator or anything like that you could try to remove the, the two studs and if you remove these two studs you can remove the exhaust manifold out without touching anything else super easy now i tried it i was starting to strip out and i don't know if you can see the shiny part like i was trying uh, i was starting to mess up the threads and i'm like you know what let me not for being lazy let me not just like let me take the long route and do it the but it's not even the easiest way because i'm pretty sure you can remove the studs and remove the exhaust manifold but let me make this short basically um what i had to do was remove the radiator um remove the and the reason why i moved the radiator is because this right now is like forward so it would have been touching the radiator and it would have messed the fence up of the mishimoto um and then down here all you have to remove is this bolt right here so i had to remove the downpipe where it's kind of hanging right now but remove that bolt right there and then once you remove that bolt this bolt right here gives the plane necessary for you to be able to to wiggle the turbo in and out and that way you could uh, kind of move the remove the exhaust manifold um currently I can remove this whole turbo setup by just removing this oil line right here that you're seeing and two cooling lines in the top and literally you can remove this whole entire setup. So that's what it took to remove this exhaust manifold. So it was kind of super stupid and a pain in the ass. I'm not sure why they wouldn't make these two uh, a bolt, like a direct bolt, just like the back ones. Remove these four bolts and then just remove the stud, whatever not an engineer so i'm pretty sure they did it for a reason um so now it's just a matter of um i'm basically gonna clean everything up like as you can see i sprayed a lot of pv blaster and all of that that was up here went down here so i'm gonna try to cover everything try to clean all the surfaces and everything and tomorrow when the manifold gets here we'll be ready to install everything and keep going so the last part has arrived from stm which is the manifold. So let's open this up. Let me set this camera up and we can open up the new manifold. I still haven't seen it. So this is the first time that I'm gonna be seeing it. STM stock replacement manifold. Uh, so basically it's for stock bolt on turbos and I silver coated it in black, which came out really nice actually. Um, I didn't think it was gonna have like some sort of glossy finish. I'm not sure if once I turn the car, it's gonna like gray out or something like that with the heat. But dude, 
this is a fucking work of art. Like, dude, props. Props. Very good. And very good on the finish too. Like, very, very good. Let me set everything up so we can install this and get this show on the road. finally installed so let me show you guys how that looks manifold is finally in bolted up so you can see I already went ahead put the radiator back in put the downpipe back in and I already tightened the bolts up so basically everything's ready I just have to do intercooler piping and a couple of stuff that I still need to do and tomorrow should be uh, the first time I fire it up so Apex Powered is gonna send me a base map. I'm gonna load it up on the ECU and we're gonna start the car up and make sure that, you know, there's no leaks, there's, you know, nothing's wrong and we are good for tuning. Uh, let me show you guys. I mean, you can kind of see it already, but look at how dope um, everything looks. And I feel like my camera's still here. Um, look at how everything looks. It fucking looks amazing. Like, sorry guys. It looks freaking awesome. Um, so it was a little, cut that Chris. Um, installing the manifold was kind of annoying. Uh, well, I, I guess I could say removing the manifold, but very important, um, let me, since I really didn't record much of it, um, very important is uh, be careful if you're buying one that's like coated or whatever, don't put your fingerprints on them or anything like that. Mine's a ceramic coated, so it's painted, but I still put gloves on just, you know, to keep it uh, brand new. Because once this heats up, that's when it's really going to absorb that color. And I don't think it's going to look as glossy as it looks right now. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, when you're putting the nuts, uh, I did it from the middle to the end. So basically, I tightened uh, in the middle, went to the left, then went to the right, and then went completely all the way to the left and all the way to the right. I didn't torque them down. Uh, it's almost impossible to, to get a torque wrench in there. So I tightened them as much as, you know, I, I felt like it was correct. I'm not gonna strip a bolt either, but it's tight in there. These two, I did use a torque wrench. And then for the back bolt, I didn't. Again, you can't fit a torque wrench in there without, I mean, it's really hard to fit in a torque wrench. Even to tighten them, it was kind of hard. Uh, if you do get this exact same one, just remember that you can always go under the exhaust manifold. Like, don't try to do all do them all through the top. Like, you can go under, put an extension, and reach out. So that kind of helped out. Um, the hardest one is this one where you can see the tape is that one because I was kind of hitting the the wrench with that, so I didn't want to scratch the manifold up. But besides that, everything is reverse order. So, like I said, if you're not removing these two upper studs, remove the downpipe underneath, remove that bolt that holds the what is it called? Remove the bolt that holds the O2 housing. Um, so you're gonna remove that bolt and that's gonna give it enough wiggle room for you to be able to pull it back and remove your stock manifold. Then basically reverse order and install it back in. If you're getting studs, new studs, I didn't end up getting new studs, which I'm kind of bummed about. Like, I was like, should I spend the $99? And I was like, 
debating it and I should have, but whatever. I mean, it's just bolts and, you know, nuts, but I'm very anal and I wish I would have gotten like shiny new bolts for uh, the manifold. But basically that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I'm gonna basically make them into short videos. Another thing that I went ahead and did, um, and I'm not sure if I recorded this before, but I installed the, the mass sensor for, not the mass sensor, what am I talking about? The four bar map sensor for speed density. So basically that plugs here. Um, this is the four bar, as you can see. Um, basically you remove these two bolts. Uh, remove that, remove this U-clip, like the injectors, remove this, plug it back in. And this is necessary for uh, speed density, so I don't have to run a math and my tuner recommended it. So go ahead and, if you're gonna do that, go ahead and, you know, that's a must for speed density, I believe, not a tuner again, but you know, that's what the tuner recommended. So yeah, basically that's pretty much it. I will see you guys in the next one where I hopefully everything is bolted up. I get to talk about all the bolt-ons and I get to show you guys the engine and maybe, just maybe, we will fire it up with E85 tomorrow. So stay tuned for that one and I'll see you guys in the next one and keep grinding.